back and uh, we had the craziest uh, high speed chase come past here. Too bad I wasn't recording. But uh, we're gonna get the twin motor V900 out on 4S. We got some uh, instantaneous lift on this thing, man. And let's go right, right at it. Whoa. Okay. I think it might give the Kopaki rocket a run for its money. Here we go. Let's go. Whoa. Yeah. I'm going to have to say the twin motor V900 is still faster than the Kopaki rocket. Two motors is faster than one, huh? This thing is a beast 35 mile per hour wind gust guys and let's go that thing is screaming yeah it's hard to say guys but i'm gonna by looking, I think the twin motor V900 is still faster. Uh, you're gonna be hard pressed to beat this thing, man. I think if we were to run 6S on this, the V900 reigns supreme. I'll take the twin motor V900 over the stock V900 any day, man. faster well not faster but it's more efficient yeah it handles this wind guys look at this it's windy as heck and the twin motor v900 is a beast we need to do more twin motor builds man because these twin motors is no joke man not even diving this thing that's just level flight this is edf fast just level flight if you dive this you probably could get in today's wind if I dove this, I don't have my GPS because obviously we lost it in Speedwing. But if I did a dive bomb on this, I bet it could probably could hit 120, 130 on 4S. Just seeing how fast it's going right now. Let's take it back around. Use our rudder. And because you have... Um, twin motors that don't really have a stall to it you know you can turn it really sharp and you got enough thrust to get you out all right we're gonna do a little bit of a dive bomb here whoa okay let's bring her in for a landing now guys zero throttle Coming up the emergency runway, back on the throttle just a little bit, guys. Oh, yeah, baby. We, we coasted it on the ground. We kept the throttle on and, and rode that thing for a little bit. Twin motor V900 is still fast. Imagine if you had two 2400 kV motors on this V900. I don't know if it would be faster or not. At a certain at a certain range, adding more kV, it just pulls more power, but doesn't give you that much more speed. So I feel like 1900 kV is kind of that sweet spot. It's not the fastest, 
but it's still strong motors are still ice cold and uh let's see how much power we have left in here 15.5 guys we could have went longer so this is definitely more efficient the twin motor is more efficient than the single motor <laughs> Our right. V900 is definitely faster than the Kopaki rocket, at least for now. At least for now, guys. Let's check the battery. How much power we got left after that flight. How much? We flew for 6 minutes and 22 seconds. 50% left. And where we're doing high speed passes, so imagine if you only just cruise the plane. Man, probably could get a 15 minute, 20 minute flight on this twin motor V900, man. That is insane. So we need more style of aircraft like this V900 with the uh, low drag design. But, uh... I think we're going to have to twin motor a wing, man. I mean, this one, the Kopaki rocket, it did pretty decent. But after seeing the twin motor V900, I'm thinking, man, we might have to make a motor mount and have twin motors on the wing. Because if it can make twin motors on the plane go fast, imagine how fast twin motors on the wing could go.